Alvin Fred Kobabe was born in 1917 in Slaterville, Utah. He attended Weber County Schools and graduated from Weber High School in 1935. When not in school, he spent time working with his father, who was a sheep and cattle man. His father turned over the cattle ranch to Alvin to run when he was 16. Alvin was a hard-working, ambitious, intelligent man, always looking for interesting things to do. He first started skiing as a child when he made a ski jump off his family's barn roof, over the roof of the pig shed and on to who knows where. That final run ended his skiing career for a while with a severely fractured leg. When Alvin got out of high school, he studied at night and got his radio and television engineer license. He worked as an engineer for KLO Radio in 1937 and 38 and helped them build their station. He met and married June Heslop in late 1937. Over the years, they had four daughters. Ranching, livestock, and earth moving did not satisfy Alvin. He kept saying he wanted to be a doctor. In 1956, he sold the livestock and earth moving equipment and enrolled at Weber College taking classes in pre-med. He graduated from the University of Utah College of Medicine in 1963, the oldest in his class, finishing in the top of the class and in the nation. In the late 1950s, Alvin Kobabe was riding horses with friends in the family-owned Wolf Creek Canyon in Eden. The landscape transformed as they gained more altitude, from grassy foothills to an aspen and pine forest. One of Alvin's friends commented while standing on the top of Lightning Ridge, if Snow Basin has a wildcat bowl, then this is the panther's pitch. Those words continued to occupy his mind. After that fateful horseback ride, Kobabe took the first step toward making his ski resort dream come true. He installed a small rope tow to the north of what is now Wolf Creek Resort. He had just completed his medical training, and it was 1962. He then purchased his father's ranch and added another 7,000 acres that adjoined the family property. A resort master plan was completed, the access road improved, lifts installed, and on President's Day 1972, Powder Mountain opened for operation. The doctor operated a medical clinic from the lower level of his Powder Mountain home and set so many broken bones that his insurance company wanted him to get orthopedic insurance. Over the last 33 years, Pow Mau, as the locals call it, has added lighting for night skiing, additional chairlifts and toes, three mountain restaurants, overnight accommodations, and a backcountry shuttle. A private helicopter skiing operation also operates from the resort. Dr. Kobabe has retired from active resort management, turning the operation over to his daughters and their husbands. Grandchildren, cousins, aunts, and uncles are all part of the mountain staff, making Powder Mountain a true family-owned and operated business. But just recently, the resort was sold to a private developer who plans on a major renovation of hill facilities as well as a new state-of-the-art lift system. Alvin Kobabe's legacy will remain ever-present at Powder Mountain as one of the true ski area pioneers of the Intermountain area.